Anyone who believes that they love buses is the most popular. And there's lots of buses you can also remember, like old buses, new buses, double decker buses, and single decker buses. Yep. And also, and also the buses from from the past, the present, and even the future. Yep, we always gotta remember all all the buses, how much as possible, just to believe it on this beautiful day like this. <laughs> the most important thing I remember was my first kiss <laughs> to my girlfriend. Yep, and the girlfriend. Of mine was Bethany Cartwheel. Why Cartwheel? From the bus garage down the block, and for a new term and a new and 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 a new erotic year starting for the buses, <clears throat> it's time to reveal our relationship to get even bigger with a mixtape. <clears throat> Here it is, guys. Oh, really? You looks, you look really splendid. A mixtape. It's a genius record, pups. You see, I've been talking everything about for Bethany. I can just tell the relationship without without even saying it. Relax, kiddo. Forget about the tape. It's not me who having a big deal out of everything. Well, look, kid. This um, this America and Australia. Are, are totally right. You can even trust and capitalize like Blinky Bill. Just remember how much you've got the ABC mixtape. It's not ABC. Okay, my mistake. Shouldn't trust the Hula Jollies there. Did somebody say mixtape? I'm sorry just to believe it. That mixtape could be everything. It has good wells and belongs. Oh. But it's September. <laughs> but I need to make a mixtape. I've been working all that. See, I haven't seen Bethany all summer. She she went to tennis camp and I've been to space camp. That's the true point. She's an athlete and you're a nerd. A tough decision. You need to tell a story. And do a rap, like big tasting from Barry Goblet from the Goblets. Bing. And next. We're gonna have a smooth soul jam, like Ed Sheeran. Think about that. Go on. And then we're going to have, and you can just tell a story of your collection. I'm not listening. Listen. If the kid wants to have a music video mixed to a tape, you got the tape. What about um, Eddie Golding? Love me like you do. That song is nasty. Nasty is right. But for all that, into my mind. And you see, I spent all night making a music, making a music video and making a mixtape. It's generous, isn't it? I hope you, I hope you really love that mixtape that I made for you, Danny. I hope you like the mixtape that I made for you, Bethany. Couldn't tell this? I always love you. In my appearance, it catches my heart. Ugh, need to go for a night. But unfortunately, it always catches to my mom. Ah, what are you doing, mom? Nothing. What time is it? It's nearly two in the morning. No, it's not. It's midnight. Now, you say about times? Now about this. I heard the mixtape. I was I was cleaning downstairs. I heard the most beautiful sounds of your mixtape, and it was really for me, and, and it really was, was for me. Actually, it came from a girlfriend back me, just an human being. But don't worry, Snuggle Monster, I'm always there for you, because I love you so much. Well, I don't know, I expect I like other mixtapes. Well, I always have. I have one from Australia, but I never want to have it in any other colour and every other country. 
I did John Oates. Well, well, anyway, uh, huh? That's it. Mixtape is for me and Bethany. Could be really, really useful. Everyone knows that. But unfortunately, my mom says no more. It's gonna be a dark, wolfy night. Mm. Uh, why don't you just take the tape for Bethany? Do a nice present. Thank you. Ding, 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 Bus tails, clever buses around the world. Come see the brightest buses, the buses of oh, the stars. There's in bus, bus, bus tails. It was September the 4th, back in my day, and James was showing his, and James was showing his year of being the best bus by holding a fake ID. Give me that! Hey, give me it right now, give me it. Hey! Hey, hey, give me it right now! No, 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 no! It's mine! It's mine! But give me it! What is that? It's a, it's a fake ID. If you really, really want it, just let me know, okay? But I really want a fake ID. Well, you can't get one. All fake IDs have the cones and the matters. Everyone should know that. Know about what? James says, if I can always have a fake ID, I'll be the best bus ever. And you'll be sorry. No, 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 I will be sorry. If it really, really matters, then look about my, look at my ID. Very strange. Jaya, do something. I'm walking back, I'm going backward. I'm going backwards. Whoa. It's spooky enough just to explain. Go away. What? But do I have a fake ID? Well, who has it? I do Al! Well, he does. Until one day, I want a fake ID. Just like, just like, uh, James. It also clears to me that I know the place to get fake IDs. Come on. Well, good luck for that. Good luck for what? Uh, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It turns out, that James has got a new a fake ID and Brian wants one. Fair and square, without problem. Okay. <laughs> While Brian was getting his first fake ID, I was literally going to get involved what what Bethany's up to. But little does does she know, her spirits always wakes until I made a plan. Now then, I heard about about two boys who are being cool and being famous, gets to know each other, they're scared, and I'm, I'm, I'm four here. But I was hoping about this. I want to see those guys riding the bicycle? You guys come? Actually, I'm going to the Lasertorium tonight. You wanna come? <gasps> I took... Well, this was it. If I can take Pops' advice to my special lady friend, I wouldn't unveil about Mum's secret mix. But love will be a mix. Of a mixtape. And so I'll do this. <gasps> what is it? Huh? What is it? <sighs> It's a mixtape! The good news was, I have a date with Bethany. But the bad news is, I was double booked. Who's ready for a movie date? I got a sweat. Actually, about a date. Hmm? She'll just do something else. Like what? Like hanging around in the park. Alright then. When? Saturday. I don't want to see a boring movie. I want to spend time to you and talk to you. 
So what do you think? That's a generous idea. I love it. Quick, Saturday, hear this. Quick, see you on Saturday. <laughs> That's my Webster spinning. Full of knives. Ryan was getting ready for his fake ID. <laughs> Here you go. Have a good day. Thank you. Please wait for Thank you. Hey, wait for me. Until a tow truck arrives. Who does IDs to us buses? Hey, what are you like doing here? Well, I just came. I want a fake ID. Actually, I do want one, just like yours. You remember me, Jamie Fawn? Okay, Jamie Fawn. You were born in 1977. Let's see how your brother's going on. I want a fake ID. Remember you picked the name for me? Yeah, I went into that, picking the name. Come this way. Step into the future. This high technique. I'm going to give you a... I'm just going to have to give you a smart name for you. Okay. Hmm, let's see. What are you wearing? But, but someone wears a hat. Just pick a name, will you? Okay. Um... Brian Buss, that's your name. Um, James Buss, idiot, that's my name! Um, Jonathan Wales, no. Nope. David Hasselhoff, no. Nope. Mayor, what? I am Mayor, from Cars. Huh? Joking, I like the Cars. Oh, Lightning McQueen, no, damn it. Um, Pen and uh, Mr. Turntable, fine, I'll pick a name for you. <laughs> and just like that, Brian's name is now Simon Carlo. Meanwhile, my date with my date with with Bethany has gone wild. Yeah, at my date, the laser toy, the the laser show was fantastic. Other people went to see it, but as but as vehicles gets to gets to check it out on the big screen. Which is futuristic. <sighs> Listen, yeah? I play that tape. I like that tape you gave to me? Yeah. What is it? I play it. Do you like it? Like it, yes. I play it. I play about four times. You're a very good boyfriend indeed. Yeah. I was. I was literally having the time of my life. But meanwhile, yeah. Meanwhile, Brian was having. Meanwhile, Brian was having a race. What was where was having a rest next to a railway yard. Yep, yeah, trains go every day to collect, to collect lots of coal for the freight cars, and Brian was just resting until James arrived. And James. Arrive backwards with a freight train, and Brian showing his fake ID to to one of the guards. Look, I got a fake ID. Brian, too much ball. Come on, driver, we're going backwards. But Brian didn't know about this. A large hopper was loading. The freight cars full of coal, and and Brian was there for James, and Brian had started to be cheeky and being cheeky more. Careful, care, uh, careful. He just warned. What for those silly freight cars? <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on. Mut muttered, muttered the driver with the freight cars. Oh, James, I'm, 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 I'm oh, I'm by the way. And then to the train. Those buffers don't look safe to me. <laughs> <laughs> Now, show his ID. The last load's poured down. 
Help! <coughs> I'm choking! Oh, like... Get me out! Please, get me out! Oh. No! James was worried. He couldn't help, he couldn't help laughing. Blinds his smart windows and his ID and all around him was covered from was covered of coal dust from from top to bottom of his wheels. He was really he's now in black but didn't care until until his to his ID got ruined. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we did. <laughs> you don't look really useful with your with your fake ID now, Brian. You look really, really disgraceful. <coughs> I'm not dis. I'm not. I'm. <coughs> I'm not dis. I am. I'm not disgraceful. <coughs> For that, James, you did that on purpose. Get me out! <laughs> Meanwhile, I was I was walking on air, and nothing could really happen to me or stop me till my mum arrived. Hello, hey, hey guys, did you have fun? Y yes, Mrs. Bus. Yep, it was magical. <sighs> how? How are you feeling? Good, thank you. Maybe we can have a drive home. Good. Bethany can join too. Oh, how sweet. We're going to have a musical song from my number one fan. There was a mixtape. Deeply shocked at all. If I could just get out. There we are. Hey, Bethany. It's me, Aaron. I made a mistake. So you. This song's full expression. You, you know our love was meant to be. Did you pull it off? Someone else did. Try to love that nice forever. Hey, why would you do that, beautiful dear? Listen carefully. That was my mixtape that I was supposed to give to Bethany. What is going on? What's going on? That your your special friend is mine. Hey, please stop arguing with me. Tell me, did you literally gave my mixtape? Did you gave the mixtape to my mom? Yes, I did. I'm going to have to explain to you, please. And I want you to listen. I made the tape special for you. Yes, I know. But does your mum like it? Yes, indeed. And he's the inspiration for me. Seriously, who is the real inspiration? I can explain about my inspiration. I made the last time I made a tape for you. Seriously? And then he gave it to your mum to like it. I wouldn't do that. It was 12 in the morning. So who's the inspiration? Yeah Adam, who is the inspiration? You are. There was a long silence. Okay, I can explain this and I want you to listen. I made a tape for you, Bethany. Um, I'm just gonna hang around with my friends. No, 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 go, 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 just, just go. Could you leave me alone, please? No. Go, now, please.
You lose. Damn it. What, the movie? Unfortunately, it was a no. No. Ding, ding, ding. The next day, Brian was showing off his his fake ID. Woo! Yes! Guess who turned 26? I am 25. Well, oh, there's no traffic. And even the hot ones over there. My god, it's so damn. Good morning. Has it says, New York people. Let's get in there, go on. Let's go on, go on. In there. Oh my god, look dirty! And not just go again. Listen, I'm very late. Why? Because I got a meeting with the boss at a second pound of the office on the office. And I say, very boss, not my scheme. But I won't have to go on it. And those cleans will have to pay about twenty-seven dollars. Sweet. Why is that? You see about that? About that, Thomas? Uh, look at that fake ID. Call me Simon Carlos. Alright then, Simon Carlos. Let's see what you got. Well, I didn't like to present to it. Really? Bus! Stop this instant. Are you... Brian Bus, or you? Cheer. Come here, the right one. Get closer. Simon Carlo. Well, Simon Carlo, allow me to accept your challenges. It's highly strong and right into a good collusion. So, thousands of people all over that they look. They look really confident and cheerful. Seriously, you want to do that? Plus the April Fool's Day? Really? Are we having your fake ID? Give me your. Coach Cameron! No! Hi, Secret! And. God of your ID. You can do it as any time to. Mr. Bass. And you, Supernatural Car. Move aside now. I won't. You will. Help! Anyway. Let's go good things. You got an ID? Yes. My name is Samuel. These are my friends. Yes. We heard all about your ID. We'd like to welcome you to the end of summer coal party at at the coaling plant company when you got dirty yesterday. Thank you. Yeah, I should go there. Show your ID. Leave me alone. Silence. I did. Here it is. Enjoy yourself. And for God's sake, you look very disgusting. Get yourself clean before you can go to that party. Your choice? Get clean. Then go to the party. Okay. <laughs> While Brian was forced to get clean, I was swearing just to, just to say sorry to, to Bethany. Bethany, wait! What is it, Adam? Now, about the mixtape, I was to say, I'm really sorry that I, that I embarrassed you a lot. 
but my mum did hear it first. It's a, relax. No one cares. Just leave it already. I made another copy. Here you go. What's this? Huh? Adam Sorry Jams? Yes. It's a very kind mistake, really. All the songs in that got sorry in them. Well, very nice. And just like that, you'll give me some space. Space, totally get it. Like a dude from space camp. No, personal, personal space for a while. Because I'm driving away. No, 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 no. Listen. <sighs> what have I done? <laughs> Meanwhile, it took so long to clean Brian that he wasn't in time for his next vote. Gino will have to take his passengers. <laughs> Poor Brian. If I can only whisper as well as his, passen as his passengers. I don't think they'll be most upset. <laughs> and so Brian was grumpy at home that night. That night. Gina Foy was a great joke, but James was cross with Brian to think that he met to think that he made his ID to think that he made his ID dirty on purpose. Fancy a really awesome most handsome bus like Brian becoming a disgrace to Gerbin Town. <laughs> the next day, and I was having breakfast until my mum stepped into the into the doorway. Hey, where's all the blueberry gone? I gave the last one to um, James. Your mum is right, because she is probably my favourite. After what you did, Adam. Besides, Brian's got a new ID and got dirty by coal. Jesus! I had to go. I had enough of that idiot. Listen, I'm very sorry that I've embarrassed you, but here's a good thing. Wait a minute. What's this? Adam Soy Jams? That's sorry, mate. But where's the case? There's no case. This one's already in there. See? No case. What's that? Case we think you're doing in your back. Oh, me. It's nothing. How wonderful. You see, I've really got. Uh, I think it's a new object. Some kid from high school who's in the fourth grade. I got a big tournament to catch up to. Gotta go. Come back now. No more boo boo for you. Ever. 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 Here's the beer for you. Thank you. Why don't you win a brush? <coughs> because you got an idea, haven't you? Well, could be necessarily. You don't check it. Hmm. But then, Brian had an idea. Just you wait. If I could get my better one. It's all dirty anyway. That's what I did. Goodbye, cars. Good guys. Oh, the beer. Really? Your name is Marcus Bus. Yeah, that's my name. Got three bus kids, one smoothie mum. We call them morons and idiots. They don't really care. 
You can also bet this. So, how do you? 59? Well, you think you are wrong. 54. Damn it. And did you know? I've been. I've been witness to your dad. Well? Well, I am, Marcus. Got an idea, Badge. Okay, Marcus. Where's your birthday? Oh, she would never that. Okay, how about this? I would be able to have a good stand, please. Well, but I'd be in a rush. Go, ahead, go, a drink a lot. You know, you, your dad come here for a drink of coffee every day. That's settled. No worries. No worries at all. Well, gonna call your dad. Thank you for your time. Instead, Brian decides to get cheese steaks. With compressors. Come back! Whoa! Oh. And Brian did enter the party, feeling, feeling so cheerful. Until he met James, who got 42 passengers. And now he began to feel tired and Brian didn't care at all. So he brought them to his friends. But after that, the ID was a fail until this happened. Brian had forgotten about his dirty ID and began to wonder why about his father's ID. So this happened. What? Hey, what do you want? This is why the thing you're doing. I have a phone call for a gypsy shop that I come in every morning to get a coffee, to fill my lungs, and to my covers. And I say, go into that party and call for a bag of sandwiches. No sandwiches. Where's the beer? There is no beer. I went to Sammy's shop, got some cheesesteaks and Pomeranis and Heroes, and even subs from Subway. And Heroes, because when you arrive at the party, you think you're a hero. And I really want to be a hero. You know, you owe him more. Forget. And just to get in a good scheme. Let's watch James. Hey, Brian. Carol. This is it. My dad schemed to threaten Brian. He said, he do this. Damn it, Brian! Do you think I could go to that party with lots of beer, six pack, with a very expensive journey? You got a very thing coming. Good thing you have. Let's go! But now, wait for this. Have a drink, James. Then you feel better. <laughs> the water comes stood at the end of the unhurt barriers. Brian, James decided to move. And Brian watched. Suddenly, Brian, suddenly James began, began to feel that he couldn't stop. And the barriers couldn't stop him either. Ah! <laughs> oh! Brian! Dad! Help! <laughs> the barriers were broken and James's wheels were deep in coal. It was time for Brian and Marcus to go. <laughs> but then he had seen everything. Let's go. Now James has now James had learnt this lesson too. Do it for yourself. Fight the power, Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Honey, are you okay? How would I be? 
just for side jams with with a good person named Adam becoming my own certain load of wheels. I don't usually have them, sort of, on this part of the planet. Well, the only thing you want is about mixed tech. It doesn't matter if you don't have any spare change of it. I hope I do, but I do need to screw things. But now, look at me. I really like Adam's tape. But now I want to see how it happens. Well, here is a a, a didgeridoo idea. Why don't we? Why? Why? Why don't you just just tell Adam you're sorry? Tell tell him you're, you're sorry. And just fix and and just get Adam back to Bethany. You could do it without 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 a tape. It's really daisy back in Sydney. Well, that's enough. You're right. I could do it in the Australian way. Maybe I can just get involved. No, don't get involved. Yes, get involved. Because after all, I'm going to fix things with Dana. And I'm going to fix things with Adam and Bethany. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dana. You're the best. Mwah. I'm gonna do it, and so my mom's plan to get me back to Bethany could be awesome. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. What? Adam? Sorry. We need to talk. Now. Well, if you can't another tape, just leave it. Leave it here. Another tape. If you got another tape, just leave it. No, no, no. No, no more tapes. Just words. I just need to find out about something. Just need to know why. Just how I, how, how I feel. Thank you. I know about my... My mum, who always just nagged me, it's just to like me more. But when I just helped and helped, with no dignity at all. No dignity. It's not a good start. But now, I feel ashamed. I'm really sorry about the tape. I won't do mixtape ever again. It's okay, I'm sorry you got pissed off because of me. But, we forgive each other. We forgive each other now. You just my tape how I feel just really connect to track your feelings about mom being about. But I will really like you. And I will do anything for you to be your to be your boyfriend. I'll do anything. And anything to be your boyfriend. I'm not sure that Bethany isn't buying it at all. So this happened. Pull that up. I don't know, just weird. Yay! Did you know how to do it? Well, she did. It turns out that my mum had did it. Um, my mum had literally broken into the engineer room just now, the control room, to, fr to terrify the engineer. But she really actually saved me. My mom did. It. So beautiful. I think I love you. I love you too. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> Meanwhile, the two buses made up their quarrel for what they did. So you're finally the hero, ain't it Brian? 
Yeah, with all the very words I did. But just to be a good spirit, without Carl or Manus can do the same either. But, but just to win Mike, it will never ever happen again. And I want this just to happen. Well, now you're gonna have to make up your call. Listen. Listen, Brian. You know, I, I, di I didn't cause your accident. You see, I didn't cause your accident on purpose, Brian. With your ID. You do know that, don't you? And I'm really sorry. That's okay, James. Of course, I know that. And I'm sorry that I've got cross with you and start to annoy you there. With, I'm sorry that I've got a fake ID without anyone noticing. That's okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, about the way, James, your, your fake ID looks splendid again too. You are? I said, your fake ID looks splendid again too. Ah, oh, thank, ah, oh, thanks, Brian. You really are the best brothers ever. <laughs> now listen, kids. In future, you two will be, you two. Now in future, you'll both be more careful with cult and fake IDs. That's the greatest point. You say the only words. We won't have it again. Yes, it will. No, it won't. It will. No, it will. It will. It will. <laughs> yeah. That. That's the thing about love. And our growing up, it means the lot of it. And and that's the thing about moms. It means when you bail out things that might want to solve your problems, you will never have a mixtape on your own. But instead, speak out the loudest, because it always be more careful than ever. Hi Bethany! Just wanted to show you, but I love you, and here's the song from R.E.M. You're the everything. That tape is just what to begin with. Love is just in the mix. But without tape, it can do a lot better. Ding, ding. Have a good day. What is it? What's that, old timer? Nothing. Just bail out to bring some old friends. We really got some like ID badges. Yeah, like my that expired in Australia about two years ago. That's very mature. Well, I can show you around the beautiful islands. I have no time for waiting. Just good day, good night. And you have to be sure that none of you can make people happy if you don't get anything. Which is illegal if you haven't got an ID badge or fake ID. Well, I certainly got a fake ID. It's right here. Okay, you, your fake name is... Okay. Jordan Jordan Higgs. Okay, Jordan Higgs. What do you do? I do a lot of buses and complete work about my dignity. It's very simple, you know. Just you got slabs here and you lot should just go in very private message. What private message? It's not a whole About your honors. It just contains what we make is a good, a very good spirit. But I'm just BT. 
pipes sound one day I'm just BT Albert gotta go now but it's far too late safe journey home Simpsons. <laughs>